remember how happy hour meant getting together to have some laughs while enjoying half-priced drinks? Well, check out the happy hour at one Portland, Oregon bar. It works like this. White people are discouraged from attending, but white folks can make monetary donations to pay for the drinks of black, brown, and native folks. Oh, happy, happy, joy, joy, indeed. <laughs>Once again, let me offer a quick lament for the satirists employed at The Onion, given that such scribes are scribbling on thin ice these days. How can a wise guy hope to solicit eyeballs with fictional lunacy when <laughs> real-life lunacy trumps all? And so it is that, according to a New York Times article, an activist organization called Brown Hope invited black, brown, and indigenous people to a Portland bar and handed each attendee a crisp $10 bill. That moolah was described as a small but symbolic gift, a handout that was fueled mostly by white people who were, of course, asked not to attend. After all, the bar was designated as a safe space for visible minorities, and on this night, honkies are to people of color what kryptonite, I guess, is to Superman. However, when it comes to the color prism, Brown Hope loves it when white people pony up the green stuff for the black and brown and red people. And amazingly, they found about 100 or so saps, oh, I mean philanthropists, to contribute. And then again, we are talking Portland, Oregon, America's unofficial progressive capital specializing in Caucasian guilt. Even so, apparently a good time was had by all. You see, the brown, black, and indigenous people took great pleasure in discussing policy issues and planning potential action. Um, was there a game on that night? I mean, any game that is? <laughs> have to admit, I would have loved to have been in attendance for that segregated Mensa club meeting. But alas, just look at my pale face. Only my money is welcome, not me. So I'll just have to imagine how those policy discussions went, especially when the participants were on to their fifth Budweiser. Now, Cameron Whitten is the 27-year-old social justice warrior who organized the event, ostensibly to raise money, one $10 bill at a time, for reparations to pay for the horror of slavery and, of course, continuing racial injustice. Now, while slavery was eradicated more than a century and a half ago, white privilege has proven to be one tough dragon to tame and here's what Witten, donning the persona of Black Santa as he handed out those portraits of Alexander Hamilton, had to say, quote, It was only $10, but when I saw them, I saw their eyes light up. What I saw there was that people felt like they were finally seen, end quote. And all it took was 10 bucks? Like, tell me, folks, could that possibly be the most condescending line of the year so far? The idea that the eyes of people of color light up at the mere sight of a 10 spot? Gee, if a saw buck makes these folks' eyes light up, just imagine what $1,000 would do. Actually, you don't have to imagine if you're a fan of The Price is Right. You win $1,000. You're going to get a bonus spin. And she's going, yes, 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 yes. Oh, look at that cracker, Bob Barker, running away. I always had a hunch that guy was a racist. Still, there are so many questions to be raised when it comes to reparations happy hour. For instance, what's the deal with the Asians getting the short end of the stick here? How come they're excluded from this hootenanny handout? And who qualifies as indigenous? After all, Democratic demigod Elizabeth Warren is allegedly 132nd Cherokee. Does she pass the sniff test for some of that subsidized Sambuca? And despite the obvious problem of using politically correct racism to somehow address bad racism of the past, doesn't this scheme really trivialize the idea of reparations for people of color, regardless of where you stand on the issue? Look, I'm all for think tanks, but what sort of intellectual discussion does one glean from a drunk tank fueled by cheap alcohol, along with a heaping helping of apartheid. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. 
Hey folks, you may have heard the Rebel has a brand new app. Please download the Rebel Media app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.